With the permission of judges. You and I have gotten the same eyes, but we see different. You and I have gotten the same minds, but we think different. You and I have gotten the same tongues, but I speak different than you. Mr. President, I, willing the time to be stopped and have a look what we have done. A man who turned his vision into reality in the shape of Pakistan, which was built on the rules and regulations of Islam. It's been 73 years. I see no Islam, but only the Western cultures and laws being applied on this land, which was washed with the precious blood of brave Muslims. Our judiciary system was supposed to be an example of justice, but today it has become priceless, like a tissue paper, which is being used for a purpose and then thrown into the trash. You and I were supposed to be an example of discipline. But today this nation is known to the world as the most hypocrite nation of the world. We were supposed to be an example of discipline. We were supposed to be an example of unity. But today we have divided ourselves into different sections and into different castes. You and I were supposed to be an example of faith. But today we are begging and seeking help from other countries for the sake of few dollars. Mr. President, you and I were supposed to be an example of brutalism. You and I were supposed to be an example of bravery. But today we have lost ourselves because we consider ourselves as cowards. Mr. President, if this was... If this was the aim of Pakistan, I would not have it, Mr. President. Pakistan was dreamed thousand times for thousands of purposes by Muhammad Ali Jinnah. He achieved hundreds of them, but then left this world with a dream. And he was not worried because he was thinking of a nation which he left behind himself Mr. President, but today I see my mothers and sisters being disrespectfully begging in front of roads just because they're not having any food to eat, not having any clothes to wear. We have gotten different ways of treatment for the poor and rich people of this country. The question arises, who is the one who snatched their rights? The answer is very simple, Mr. President, you and I. Mr. President, Mr. President, today I see the generation makers begging like beggars on the roads, striking and blocking the roads just because their greed is on top. This isn't Mr. President. Don't they see this youth that they are hanging around from the last one and a half year without education? This isn't the purpose, Mr. President. This isn't the purpose that we should call. We should call to be the shadow of God's vision. This wasn't the purpose that they strived for it. This wasn't the purpose that they dreamed. They sighed and they faced obstacles. This isn't the purpose, Mr. President. <laughs> you and I must learn to obey, for only then we can learn to command. Thank you all.